Today I will be discussing the safe cracking activity. You will use one microbit to send an electronic key over the radio, which will then hopefully unlock a super secure safe, which is also controlled by another microbit. But first a little introduction on how the safe will work. These will already be assembled for you by the start of the lab. This is a moto bit. It is an extension board for the microbit, which allows us to connect and control motors and other physical sensors. This is a servo motor type of motor which allows us to control the amount we turn the motor, unlike regular DC motors, which continuously turn one way or the other. For this lab, we will be plugging the servo motor into pin 16 on the micro bit. Remember to keep to align the black wire with the ground pin. We then plug in a micro bit preloaded with the beginner lockbox code and plug in the power supply. The servo motor will not work without the external power supply. You cannot power it through the USB port that you use to flash the micro bit. Pressing the A and B buttons will mo move the servo motor back and forth. Now here is a finished safe with the beginning safe code and another micro bit with the beginner key code preloaded. The safe accepts a binary string representing a number as the key. So in order to open the safe, we must send a collection of zeros and ones from our micro bit key to the safe. For this box, we will only be communicating over radio group one. Using the micro bit with the beginning key code, if you press the A button, you will add the number 1 to the key you will send. And then if you press the B button, you will add a 0. As you are creating your key and adding zeros and 1s, the current key that you have generated will scroll across the screen. In order to send your key to the safe, you must press the A and B buttons at the same time. For this particular safe, we must send the string 0, 1, 0, 1 which is the binary representation for the number 5. And as you hit a, the A and B buttons, you will see the safe unlock. After running and examining this code, move on and try to crack the more advanced safes whose code you can find from the instructions on the website.